What is equally scary at both day and night? We need to talk. Why don't you have a seat? 10 missed calls from your mom. My mom would do that just wondering what I would want for dinner. A fart when you're not feeling well. As someone with a bowel and bladder disability I've come to fear any and all sounds from that part of the body. It's a 24-7 living hell. They say it gets easier. Aneurysms the thought of dying unexpectedly at any moment without being able to say goodbye to my loved ones is terrifying. My dad got extremely lucky. He took a fell down some stairs one day and his knee started to swell up a few days later so he went to have it checked out. When checking his knee they found a huge aneurysm in his leg that hadn't burst yet. They scanned his whole body and found three more. Two small ones in his pelvic area and another huge one is his abdomen. Thankfully he had them removed and is checked out every so often now. That spill down the stairs saved his life. Being home alone and hearing something fall on the floor. Asterisk being home alone and hearing any noises that aren't coming from you or your personal belongings. Your mother calling you by your full names. And even scarier when she calls you by all your siblings' names before getting to your full name. Someone pointing a weapon at you. Like either way there's a possibility, you gonna die. No thank you. The sudden feeling that you're useless to society. That feeling goes away? No. But you can learn to ignore it? Doubt is eternal. The unstoppable marching of time that is slowly guiding us all towards an inevitable death. Memento Mori. Figuring out you have been followed by the same man for more than 10 minutes. And cars progressively slowing down as they reach you walking by. On a similar note, realizing you've coincidentally been going the same route as the woman in front and getting worried. She thinks you're following her. In those situations, I just follow them to their house to apologize and explain that I wasn't intentionally following. The Monsieur, it's scary as shit when cars just like slow to a crawl to pass you on the road. The sudden and unexpected sound of a rattlesnake. If it has started to rattle, you are already pissing it off. If it's started to rattle, it's giving you the chance to back off first most snakes will just bite you. Rattlesnakes are the good guys of the venomous snake world. Wasps are fuck wasps, and the new joy of Asian hornets. What I'm gathering from this post is that being alive is scary as hell. A naked hobo running at you. I would definitely say that would be much scarier at night. Waking up thinking that you are late for something. Like have you ever dozed off at 8 p.m. and woke and up at 10 p.m. Looked at your clock and thought it was 10 a.m. and you slept in and are now late for work, school? That's equally as scary as actually waking up late in the morning and running late. I did that during finals week once. My final was at 4 p.m. And I woke up at 4.30 a.m. as you're that time of year in that town it was dark at that time either way. By the time I realized my mistake, none of my roommates were awake. I was so shaken up that I couldn't get back to sleep. So I channeled my anxiety and just studied until it was time to wake up and study. I aced the final but it did take me the full two hours. Student debt. WTF bro, I won't be able to sleep tonight. Having to go to the hospital in the US. Fuck our insurance policy. Apparently jogging while black. People knocking at the door. I know it's probably a delivery, but it still freaks me out. I'd say it's scarier at night emo. Me too. I'm not answering if I'm not expecting anyone. My husband has sent me flowers a couple times where the poor delivery guy has had to call me to get me out of hiding. Rotating machinery. Rotating machinery doesn't care about you. Your feelings are your flesh and bones. It has one job to do and it's going to do it. If you don't respect it, it will fuck you up. Children's laughter coming from your basement. When you don't have kids. I may not have kids but I do have child laborers. And if they are laughing that means they are not working. Terrifying indeed. For the monsieur. A strange white van driving around giving out free candy. I would say that's slightly more scary at night. 
the Spanish Inquisition, didn't expect that one, no one ever does, floating alone in the ocean, shark could attack you anytime, there is a good possibility you'd never see a coming day or night, I don't think the shark attack is what terrifies me there, firstly WTF are you doing floating alone in the ocean, social distancing, remind the shark that it needs to stay six feet away from you, you never hear about sharks with COVID because they are excellent social distancers. My bank account, the closet when the door is slightly open. No scenario where that's not scarier at night. When the sun is setting, casting an ominous orange glow inside your house. And you feel the stillness of everything as the wind stop and the noises of animals and people alike coming to a halt as they take their rest. It is then that the closet door being jar becomes scary. In the near liminal atmosphere of the hour, your brain prepares for a creature of unknown features to cross the threshold of that door. Feeling the presence of someone who has entered through the rear when you're home alone. You mean like butt stuff? I think that's what he means yes. Dokes aside, suffocation has got to be the scariest one. Fire is up there. 37 missed calls from your girlfriend, wife. 36 is the safe limit. Dolls. Especially porcelain. I once stayed in an Airbnb in Japan. The house was fine but the owners had fucking dolls everywhere. The corridor. Outside my room. The living room is your I got real close to one and their eyes seem to be following you. Those Hina dolls. Holy fuck fuck off. I didn't dare to go to the toilet at night because of the monsieur. Minecraft Discs 11 and 13. Also, the phantoms I was mining for a really long time. An hour maybe. And didn't sleep. When I got to the surface the sun was already setting and then there was an army of phantoms. Chasing me. Cancer. The reflection in my mirror. Taxes. Diabetes. If you or a loved one have diabetes, Medicare will blah blah blah. Missing the last step walking down the stairs. The threat of nuclear war is in the hands of senile fucks who've forgotten both empathy and fear of death and are in a dick-waving competition. Fortunately that's currently been pushed off center stage by a deadly fuck mothering pandemic. Clowns. The lonely stoner seemingly freeing his mind. He's all alone through the day and night. COVID-19. My own thoughts. Crashing being buried alive, police lights, sirens coming up behind you, suddenly goes blind, my mom walking into my room, spiders, the inevitable heat death of the universe, gingivitis, the eldritch horrors I conjure up in my brain space, the mirror, I can't watch movies where the reflection does something that doesn't match the person looking into, it, that is the most terrifying thing, your parents walking in on you beating your meat. Any insect much much larger in size than expected. Your parents loudly calling your name in a very serious tone. That makes me jump out of my own skin. The basement. I don't care if it's safe. Once I turn the lights off I only have 0.1 seconds to run up the stairs before the demons get me. A naked clown running toward you down a long hallway with a locked door at your back. So would this naked clown be in full body makeup or just the face still? Just the floppy shoes clown nose and poorly done red lipstick. Right now, if my daughter says she has a headache, my first thought is oh shit. Now we all have corona. Quote, really, it's just sinus pressure. But my anxiety likes to pop up every now and then. For me nearly every physical pain or sensation is I feel is I'm having a heart attack. Quote, when in reality it's just indigestion after eating or my muscles feeling stiff and achy from being on the computer most of the day. It can be a living hell sometimes. Trying to eat food but then that one piece of food decides to get stuck in your throat. When I was a kid my mom with a ruler in her hand. Mesothelioma. Cockroaches. Person staring at you through your window. That would be scarier for me since I live on the second floor of an apartment building and he can't step on air. Harry, you're a wizard. 
fuck off Hagrid, Y-O-U-A-R-E-B-R-E-A-K-I-N-G-T-H-E-L-A-W. A dog running for its you. Come on man he just loves you. War, war never changes. The PlayStation 2 startup screen. B-W-A-A-A-A-H-H-H-H. Kid Cudi. Distant humming. Asterisk eerie hip hop beat begins asterisk. Hearing a hiss from right behind while you're mining. My dad with a belt. A random penis getting dragged across your face I have never felt this fear just caused it. Hicks with guns in a pickup truck. A grizzly bear. Reddit meta jokes. The scratching coming from the walls and ceiling of my bedroom a sir at first it was terrifying. Now it's just annoying. The inevitably of your impending death. A empty house in the middle of nowhere. Murder hornets. Mom says it's my turn. Recognizing that your whole existence is just meaningless and after you die everything will be the same. Flying spiders. There's gliding spiders. But then there's spiders that use their silk to catch the wind and literally fly. Spider-Man spiders. There are some that when the egg sack hatches the babies do it too. Hundreds of tiny spiders flying. A strangely gurgling stomach with a weird feeling in your bowels. News Channel. Six missed calls from your mother wife. Government overreach. I feel like people are begging to have their freedoms taken away from the monsieur. My reflection. Being held at gunpoint. Kids laughing in your house when you're alone and have no kids. Rape. Hearing a mountain lion scream within feet of you. Mountain loins are cowards. Just yell a lot and wave your arms. And they'll run. Source. Oregonian. I grew up rural farm life Oklahoma. I'm generally okay with just about everything short of a grizzly. Still the scariest thing in the world when you're not expecting it or miss seeing it when waking. Your property lines. I was hiking and saw a grizzly with her cubs. Luckily, she didn't see me. If you ever see one with cubs, and she sees you, either get inside, or pray you die quickly. Sometimes they'll stop chasing if you get far enough away. But don't bet on it. Sometimes playing dead works because grizzlies like live prey. When I was a kid, I learned a poem about bears that taught you what to do. If it's brown, get down. If it's black, fight back. Kinda dumb sounding, but easy to remember. Meth heads. Your parents calling you by your full name. Yellow O discharge on your genitals. Karen, exclamation mark, exclamation mark, exclamation mark, exclamation mark. Asteroids hitting Earth, Sun going supernova, very nearby stars going supernova. Immediate death by black hole, everything space, good, or bad, news. D, if an asteroid was on a collision course for Earth, we would likely know anywhere from weeks to years in advance. That's a lot of time for the dread to marinate. Our sun cannot go supernova, but that can't stop other stars from doing it. A star could have done its deeds long ago and sent a nice and clean gamma ray burst out. Unlike the asteroid, we would never know and it could be coming for us right now. They don't even have to be nearby. Black hole death is not immediate. Wasps are in space. Ah oh my bad I still don't know the terms for stars and shit. An angry mo monsieur. Thank you so much for watching and have a good day.